In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your website using the Aveda theme. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get to themeforest.net and to get there you can type in asknickfoy.com slash themeforest and it's going to open up the themeforest website. From there you're going to purchase the Aveda theme which is the theme that I'll be walking you through a tutorial of today. So once you've purchased the Aveda theme it's going to show up in your account downloads folder. So that's where I'm currently at on this page and you can see the Aveda theme. So I'm going to click download and it's going to drop down this menu. So you're going to want to click the installable WordPress file only and this is going to install or download the WordPress zip file. So it's going to come in the zip file format which is what you need to upload it into WordPress. So as that's downloading we'll come over here to our WordPress dashboard and go under the appearance tab to themes and it's going to open up the themes page where you're going to be able to manage your Aveda uh, theme as well as the other themes that are installed. So to install it you need to go to add new and upload a theme and it's going to say choose file. So I'm going to go in here to my files and install the Aveda zip form. Click install now and it's going to begin uploading the theme to your WordPress account. So down here in the bottom left hand corner you're going to notice it says uploading and it's at 50% already so we'll give it a few minutes to finish uploading and then we'll begin customizing it. Alright so as it, begin, as it finishes up uploading it's going to redirect you to this page where it tells you that it unpacked the package, it installed the theme, it was installed successfully. So now you want to go ahead and click activate to make this your theme that represents your website. Now when you click activate if you have another theme currently that's activated it will go ahead and automatically deactivate that other theme because you can only have one theme activated at a time. So you're now only going to have the Aveda theme active. Alright as soon as you click activate it's going to open up the Aveda page. So you're going to notice now over in the dashboard panel they've popped in the Aveda tab now so that it's got a drop down with different sub menu items. So in order to go customize your Aveda theme at any time you would come into the Aveda tab and you would go down to theme options and theme options is where you're going to be able to choose your font size, your font color, uh, and all the different other customization options for your theme. So first go to the welcome tab which it opens up to and you can watch a little tutorial video if you'd like but the first thing we need to do is register your theme so go to the registration tab and it's gonna want to enter a key in order to complete registration so when you signed up with a theme forest account it's you're gonna have like a dashboard panel uh, that it's gonna be able to generate a token so all you have to do is click this link and it's gonna open up your account with theme Force, and you're gonna be able to copy that token and paste it in here and then click the submit button so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm not gonna be able to show you it because it's my personal token code but once that's done we're gonna move on to the plugins tab and begin installing the plugins that are required to use this theme alright so once you've registered your new theme and it's officially connected to your WordPress account we can begin installing the two required plugins Fusion Core and Fusion Builder so these are going to be the page builder plugins that allow you to navigate your page layout and move things around which you'll see shortly so go ahead and click install and the first one's going to install and then you'll need to click install again on the second one and it will install. So plugin activated successfully, return to required plugins installer. Scroll back down, click install on the Fusion Builder and it'll go through the same process. And then you've got some additional plugins that we'll show you in a second that are optional to install, but you guaranteed need these two plugins in order to operate your Aveda theme. So the additional ones is a layer slider 
slider revolution so these are for like slideshow layers that can run across your web page if you want blog posts to slide across the screen uh, those are different plugins that allow that to happen WooCommerce is recommended if you plan to have a store as connected to your website if you plan to have a forum you can install the BB press forum plugin and then there's a contact form and a calendar plugin that can add these features to your website so decide if any of these are worth installing and click the install button if so now if you want to use a template that Aveda has you can go into demos and this is where you're gonna find all the different templates that you can choose from so scrolling through here you can click the preview button to look at all the each of those templates to see if there's a certain design style you like and a certain color scheme so if you're a fitness blog there used to be a fitness theme that they may have gone away with oh here it is it's called gym so if you run like a fitness blog uh, you can you know preview the gym theme so we'll go ahead and look at that so you see kinda how the preview works so you can close this tab here on the side so that it gets it out of the way and then it's gonna basically show you the different templates so as you start scrolling you've got a parallax here this is called a parallax when the screen kinda starts shifting upward as you're scrolling down so it's kinda fancy and then you know you can you've got an email opt-in form here to get them onto your email list there's some different buttons here that you can click and they kinda have the little flashy circle around them so it's a nice overall template that you can choose uh, if this is you know appealing to you and then you can just come in here and customize you know the text and the images uh, so that there's not a whole lot you have to change out in order to have your website up and running but in my case I'm just gonna design my website from scratch because I've already you know built up enough experience using Aveda that I can now custom design and kinda of have a feel for what style I like for my website but for a beginner I would probably recommend using one of their templates and then just customizing the template you know based on uh, what type of website you're trying to make alright so once you've decided on what theme template you'd like to use you can go ahead and click import to install that template onto your website and then we're, in the next video we're gonna go ahead and walk you through the different customization options through the theme options panel so if you scroll up here to the Aveda temp to the Aveda tab in the menu bar and you scroll down to theme options and you click theme options it's gonna open up all the different uh, settings that allow you to customize the Aveda theme so let's go ahead and move on to the next video where I'm gonna give you an overview of what each of these tabs are in your theme option settings.